this recipe for this month. Hi everyone, I'm Margie and welcome to my kitchen. What I've made, what I've grown here are alfalfa sprouts. I'm going to show you how I made these. And we're going to get started right away because it actually takes three or four days really to get them to that point. These are the alfalfa seeds. They're very, very tiny. I ordered these from a company called True Life online. And what you need to get started is I have a small bowl, because I'm just going to soak them first. But then after I soak them, I'm going to move them to a larger bowl so they can grow. So to start with, I'm just going to, I'm just going to start with um, maybe one and a half tablespoons. So here I just put some water in the bowl. And I'm going to use a plastic bag to protect the bowl. So I'm going to leave it out overnight and I cover it with a cloth. You want to grow the seeds in the dark. You don't want them to develop any chlorophyll in their leaves because that keeps them fresher. Now this is day two. I'm just going to, I'm going to rinse them a couple of times. I usually do, especially the very first day. Because if you look at the water, it's not really clear. So I'm just trying to rinse all that out and any heat that might have developed if they're starting to grow. Now when you rinse them, you want to be very careful that you use water that's room temperature and you don't spray them too hard. You want to be very gentle with the seeds. This can be done so quickly in the morning and you really only need to rinse them at this point only one time. You just swish them around in the water a little bit and then just strain them. Try to get all that water out if you can. I think the sprouts will drink the water up during the day, but you want to try to get as much out as you can. Now you can buy jars for sprouting that have screens in them. Or you can take a mason jar and cover it with some cheesecloth and a rubber band. But I find that sometimes the sprouts, when they're growing, they kind of get stuck in the cheesecloth or stuck in the screen. So I sort of just, I feel like I'm not breaking them when I do it this way. So we'll just put them in the bag and cover them up. So this is day three. I don't know if I show them to you, but see how I'm hitting the side of the bowl with the sprayer? Because I really want to be gentle with the sprouts. And I'm shaking them around just to loosen them up because they get tangled. And you can see there, they're probably about a quarter of an inch long. And for a while, for a few days, it will, it will seem like the sprouts aren't even growing very much. And you'll wish that you'd made more, but really, you're going to have several cups here. If you continue to rinse them and keep them real fresh in your refrigerator, they'll continue to grow. You won't have these big plants in your refrigerator, but, but they'll grow a little bit. They'll keep growing, I guess, as long as you keep them fresh. So we just keep rinsing them and growing them and rinsing them. It takes about five days to make the sprouts. Now at this point you're going to start to see on the bottom, you'll start to see sprouts that haven't sprouted. This is another day, see they're getting bigger. Now here's when you're going to see sprouts that haven't sprouted, little seeds that haven't really sprouted. So I just get rid of them. And keep going. We have one more day. And I think on this day, if you, if you look at the bag, you'll see a lot of 
humidity in the uh, moisture collecting on the bag. That's about as big as you want them to get now. This is another, it's a bigger bowl. And again, it's not clear. And I filled it with some water already. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump them in. And this is the day that I try to take the little, the holes off of the seeds. Or off of the, the little brown shell that was on the seed. See, I'm going to just sweep my hand across the top of the water and collect those. You don't have to do that. I do that because I used to sell these alfalfa sprouts. I used to sell them to grocery stores. And I'm used to what I call de-hulling them. There might be another name for it. And you very gently, you just swish them around in the water. And those little holes will float to the top. And also some seeds will lay on the, on the bottom. I'm just going to, what I'm doing here is I'm just collecting the seeds, very, the sprouts, very gently with my fingers, right from the water. I don't want to stir them too much because you'll see there's seeds on the bottom. If you wait a moment, they'll settle to the bottom again. You want to collect as much as you can. You worked hard to get them, so you want to not lose any. So I just got rid of those. I'm going to rinse them one more time and they're pretty much done might try to collect a few more holes but you don't have to now this is when you want to start thinking about preparing the seeds to put out to, to put into the sun not outside in the sun, but just, you'll put them on a plate and I'm going to show you. Because you want, if you look real carefully at the little part that is growing the leaf, it's very yellow. But that little leaf is yellow, but if you put them in the sun, they're going to turn green. They're going to get, develop some chlorophyll, uh, chlorophyll. So I spread them out. And I'll cover them with a piece of saran wrap so they don't dry out. And I just wrote a little thing here about um, if you put them in, in the sun for a few hours inside your house, you don't want them to get hot, those little leaves will start to turn green. If you look very closely at the upcoming pictures, the first one looks a little bit yellow because of the leaf there. But the second picture it looks different because that little yellow leaf is not green. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.